blaze was conjured by the Adinian sorceress named Delia. His initial purpose was to wander the realms and keep track of how many superpowered warriors there were. Once he decided that there were too many or they were too powerful, then he would sound the call to awaken the two brothers, Taven and Dagon. I think the coolest thing about Blaze is that he just began as this little hidden guy in MK2. I came up with a background called the uh, Pit 2, where it took place between like two icy peaks. And in the distant bridge, because we always like adding like mystery elements to MK, there was the, the Shaolin monk that was on fire in the distance. It looked like he was fighting Liu Kang. It's actually it probably what Liu Kang shrunk down. Uh, I think we introduced him as a real character in Deadly Alliance, as kind of like one of the hidden characters. And then, you know, as with all Mortal Kombat characters, they just kind of got fitted into the story. And before we knew it, he was the big final boss guy in Armageddon. For Armageddon, we wanted to bring back Blaze, but more of a monstrous form, more of a bigger form. We wanted to give him more of a uh, rolling lava type of feel, but we couldn't just have it just rolling lava, so we made more solidified areas that made it look like he had armor on. Early versions of Blaze actually had flaming hair, but it looked a little too wacky. It uh, didn't really fit the character so much. Blaze has a move where he uh, basically rolls up into a ball and just kind of steamrolls his opponent. That's a very powerful move in the game. He has a teleport move. He basically melts into the ground, you know, see a puddle of lava, and he comes up on the other side of the opponent. He has a, uh, a ground pound move, basically slams under the ground, and if your opponent's standing anywhere on the ground, he takes some damage. Blaze is probably, you know, one of the more brute force, not, you know, finesse type characters. He's just kind of like a all power brute force kind of guy. Now let's take a look at a couple of Blaze's super moves. He performed his quake slam move with a simple up-down gesture and his steamroller move with a simple half-circle away. When using the character Blaze, if you find yourself short on health, you can perform his charge-up move with a simple away-towards gesture. You can also perform his melting lava teleport with a simple down-up gesture and, of course, combo that into other moves. 